getting ready to plate up the Waldorf salad. This is a very, very old school recipe. Uh, you can feel free to mix this up a little bit. I do have my julienne apple tossed in lemon juice. Uh, I left the celery, did you know everything julienne setting on the mandolin. Um, so I to leave the celery kind of long, come out in these nice long ribbons. I thought that was really cute. I'm gonna save some, just enough of the walnuts for a garnish. I've been trying to play around with how to plate this and do it in kind of an interesting way. You don't have to go out and buy radicchio if you don't want to, but you know, just trying to think of like some things to do, something kind of a little classic, kind of harkens back to the roots of this dish. Okay. We get a nice ball of that, get it all kind of tangled around. Let's get that. Get that in there. Nice. I think I'm not going to have those pieces on the outside. Let's clean that up a bit. Okay. Make a little lemon zest there. Lemon rind. And place that on top. A lot of circles going on here. And then I've got another piece of radicchio that I've rolled up with the some celery leaves. I'm just gonna try. I'm really just kind of grasping at straws here, just trying to think of something cute to do. Maybe you put a little bit of that. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just a few. So that's a chiffonade, just rolling it up, cutting it really thin. Let's just get some of the rest of those walnuts on top. Let's give it one last little wipe down. You do see some more modern plate ups where they do interrupt the edge of the plate. Um, but again, we're going for something with a little touch of the classic to it there.